All right, hello. Um, I foolishly realized that uh, this could this is actually a pretty quick fix to get the inputs working correctly. The problem is we called it inputs, but in every function we used input without an S, and it makes more sense to put input. So uh, I'm sorry for that mistake. It it, uh, it was a pretty lame mistake. So I'm just going to change inputs to input. Uh, so then we can just call input.d and input.a. So now we'll refresh. He's running. I'll press D, and he disappears. That's no 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 bueno. Um, it is uh, quite interesting. I, I'm going to I'm going to comment out all this to make sure at least the flipping is working because that could be what's going wrong. So I'm going to comment out all my uh, movements and check if the flipping's working. Oh no, the flipping's working fine. He's going left when I press D, and, or A when, and right when I press D. So flipping is working fine. So our movements are off. Um, let me let me jump in and figure out and I'll be right back. All right, so the problem is that um, we're trying to assign a vector two to a vector two. Um, Sorry, I've been programming in C-sharp a lot, so that made sense to me, but not to JavaScript. There's a thing about JavaScript where we have to assign each of the children to each other. So in actuality, I would be doing this.position.x is equal to pause.x. I can't just assign them to each other, uh, vector2 to vector2 in this case. So uh, what I want to do right now is I want to add a... I actually want to add a functionality to vector2 and I want to add a function called uh, move this dot move is equal to function and in this function I want to take in a uh, vec2 and I want to say this dot x plus equals vec2 dot x and this dot y plus equals vec2 dot y so it's a simple move function where it's just going to add uh, the vector to whatever's best in. And that will help us to update our animations, uh, update our animations update. We can take out pause from here and we can take out all this gobbly goo up there. So now back in our main, rather than passing this uh, into here, we can do a uh, better method of the function and we can just say nm.position.nm. Uh, move and we'll pass in uh, a new vector 2 we're going to pass in that as the x and the nm dot position uh, let's uh, and and, uh, and zero sorry we're just going to pass 5 and 0 because we're adding to it so we're moving it by 5 on the x and nothing on the 0 now let's replicate this down um, across the rest of these here. I'm going to be moving negative five. That also means I can take this anim update and just have it at the bottom by itself here and uh, replace all of this madness. I don't need my brackets actually here. Sorry, I'm thinking as I'm going, uh, which causes uh, things to change in real time. Uh, so no notes here. Now uh, if I press W I want to move it up on the Y. So up on the Y in screen space is actually negative. It's not positive. So I'm going to move negative 5 and I'm going to move positive 5 for when I press S. So now let's check this out. Uh, let's see how, let's see if it works out for us. Let's refresh. Our guy's moving. I can press, uh, oh he's going opposite directions on the X. That's that's kind of goofy. <laughs> so, uh, if I press D, he should go to the right. And if I press A, he should go to the left. I keep getting that confused. So, uh, I can press D, A, uh, S, and W. Now he's moving around really fast, I might add. So, let's make this like one. Uh, and let's try and move around. Uh, that's better. And uh, we can even do fractions. I, I, I believe we've set it up for fractions. Uh, our, 
or uh, decimals. I can put 0 0.5 in here for all these. And he'll move half as fast as he is now. This is how fast he's moving. And I refresh. Now he's moving half that speed. So, so that's basic inputs. Uh, we've debugged it. The inputs are working. The animation's working. We're flipping him uh, because we're flipping the animation. So uh, everything's working pretty awesomely. Uh, so uh, I think this is all I'm going to do for tonight. Uh, I'm going to look into what it will be the next part of um, uh, the game framework that I'm going to input. There's more parts. Yes, there are. Uh, so uh, stay tuned, and uh, I hope you enjoyed what I've done so far. Um, I'm going to look through it tonight or maybe tomorrow, see what I'm going to, uh, which part I'm going to add in next. So uh, have a nice night, and I hope you enjoy this. And now you are officially able to start creating a game using this basic framework. Uh, you can add on to it. It's very simple framework, but it is very powerful at the same time. So I hope you enjoy it. Make some crazy stuff. Send me uh, some links. Put in the comments what you're doing. Uh, put a link up to the games you're making. Uh, I really want to see these. I really want to see what people come up with. And uh, I hope you enjoy it. Um, thanks for watching, and I will be back soon. Stay tuned.